Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. Today we're going to learn about tumbling fluorite. It's one of the hardest minerals to tumble in the tumbling world because it's so soft, but there are definitely ways to do it. So stick around and find out how to turn fluorite that looks like this into fluorite that looks like that. So this is the fluorite that we're starting out with. You can see we've got really pretty greens, big chunky stuff. Some of it's kind of clear. Most of it's green. Um, it did have some texture to it at one point, a lot of etching, but the pieces are gorgeous. Now the biggest thing that you have to do when you're tumbling fluorite is use cushion right off the bat. You have to, otherwise it's it's so, so easily scratched because it's a four on most hardness scale that it just kind of turns to dust if you're not careful. So to prevent it from like scratching each other, I start out using tile X's because it's the cheapest form of I cushion medium uh, in with all of the fluorite as well as I'm going to start this out in stage two. A couple of sprinkles of stage one in there. So stage two is a 152-20 grit, which is this guy right here. What we're gonna do is put a bunch of this in here. Let's see how shiny it is. <laughs> I just kind of like how pretty it is. It's cool looking, you know? Now just to get a little bit of some of the coarser edges, I'm putting a scoop of the 6090 grit in there. And uh, that'll be just enough to, you know, keep things tumbling down and, and stuff like that. I just, I have to be super careful because this is the last batch of fluorite that I have and I really want it to turn out pretty for you guys. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm just using regular water out of the hose for the first stage, which is stage two in normal rock tumbling for fluorite. And for stage, the pre-polished stage and the polished stage, I'm gonna be using RO water just to make sure that we don't have any like mineral scaling or anything excessive in the water that could actually hurt the stones. You'd be surprised how often that happens. Yeah, this is gonna go badly. <laughs> I tried, I tried. But just enough water. There we go. That's about it. You, you want it just kind of above that top layer of rock. We're going to put this in though for three days. And after three days, I'm going to test it or just take out the pieces and see exactly how worn down they are. If the, the iron staining that's on this from a little bit of calcification is gone. And if it's starting to get a nice rounded shape, if it's not, I'll put it back in there for a day and just check it every day. So you guys will get to see that process. Let's see what this looks like after being in there for three whole days. Uh oh, did I got the right one? Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh, it totally feels like these are ready. Oh, look at that one. Oh my goodness. Shoot, three days might have been too long. Oh my gosh. Because we're missing a lot. I guess this is time to rinse these out. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh my gosh, hey gun, that's what I get. Interrupted. Go on. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. Good gosh. Frustrating and annoying bird. You break that, you buy me a better one. There isn't a better one. Yeah, there is. There's the Cab King. That is a terrible one, yeah. Wow, some of these though. Oh my goodness sake. Wow. Wow. You're so pretty. Oh, that one's a lot in Matrix there. That looks cool. <gasps> Two-tone. Oh my goodness sake. These oh, they look so pretty. Really, really, really rinse out this thing. Next stage is very crucial. It was the pre-polish stage already. Sometimes it's necessary to give your minerals a soap and water bath just to make sure there's no grit left over. This is what the minerals look like after coming out of stage one. You see they're getting slightly rounded. They've got that sugary texture on them ready for pre-polish. You're about to add in pre-polish. And I made an absolute mess the other day. Um, I might add a few more tile X's just because oh, there's a lot less volume in there now. And I exploded my polish in here the other day. It sucks. That bag got a hole in it and it is all over the place as you can see. Put any extra in there. It's not going to help anything, but you know, it's literally all over. I made the biggest mess ever, but tablespoons of pre-polish. Oh, five. I'll do five, I guess. Five and a half-ish. I really want these polished up like super nice. So nice. And we're going to add some RO water to them right now we're not gonna use regular water. But adding RO water to this, just a second. My fluorite came out, it was uh, three days. I'm... To put the kitchen lights on. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so adding this, whoa, wait, I'm making a mess. Goodness sake, here we go. There's so much going on right now. Just adding this to kind of the just over the top layer. But yeah, this is RO water from the tap. Adding the right amount of water is crucial. You want to make sure you have just enough so that the rocks can move around smoothly against each other, but not too much so that they're slopping around and don't actually get any friction to polish each other. We will check this in a couple days just to see what's going on with them. It's been three days and we are checking out the fluorite trying to find a piece big enough so that I can wash it off and see if it's ready to go into the polish stage. Basically, that means that we're going to have smooth edges. It's going to start to have a glassy look to it underwater. And all of the yucky bits have basically been trimmed away. There are a lot of fractures, however, but this rock is ready to go into the polish stage. All right, we are doing this garage style. <laughs> please don't fall, please don't fall. <laughs> oh, that's that's okay. That kind of falling is fine. But this is a mess. I let most of the sludge dump into the bucket, so I put these into a bath of water in the sink and then started to rinse them off. It's not always the brightest idea to put the stuff down your sink, but this is the pre-polished stage. It's not going to turn into concrete. <coughs> Look at those. Some of these are like stunning. Very cool. These are stunning. After I go through and admire the rocks, making sure that none of them are too beat up or I don't need to take out any pieces that are broken in half so there's no sharp edges, I rinse them again very thoroughly and then I let them dry completely because now I have to remove them from all the tile X medium and then I will re-rinse them once again, once all the tile X's are removed. And again, let them dry. 
This process is important because the next stage is an entire dry stage, meaning no water is used and no tile X's are used. It's only cushion is walnut shells. And then on top of that, we add in our aluminum oxide for polish. And I forgot to record adding in aluminum oxide, so this is what it looks like, the white stuff. And if you don't add it, the rocks won't polish. All right, guys, this is the fluorite coming out of the final, final stage. With any luck. going to be shiny. There we go. They are covered with dirt or dust right now, but look at those. Wow. Look at that. I'm gonna get them all out, clean them all up. Oh, wow. Just rubbing it on my pant leg so that, look at that. Just, they're dusty because of all the grit, the walnut shell, plus the aluminum oxide that's in here. Wow, well, how pretty that is. All right. We're gonna take these out of here and show, show how beautiful they are. Here's our specialized batch of tools, <laughs> AKA a strainer, a plastic bag, because we're about to make a mess. And we're going to gently scoop these into here. Um, this is the way we can sort them, find them a little easier. That kind of thing. Wow. So, it's a simple process, but it's just gonna take a couple of minutes to get them all out, to get all of the things out and then rinse them. But essentially I'm gonna save the walnut shell just because it's got aluminum oxide in it. I can reuse it for the next batch of fluorite or soft tumbling rocks that I need. Here's what we have, all of these, and we're gonna rinse them off now. And look at how beautiful they are. Just so, so. Beautiful glassy, awesome pieces. No, it's cracked severely. Some of them are just because some of this wasn't the most competent of fluorite. You can see how pretty and glassy they turned out. There's a great shine on a lot of them. Some of them are a lot better than others. This one, you can see all the little fractures and almost dendritic looking material inside the middle. This one half purple with striations. Woo! So, so pretty, some of them. Just beautiful, beautiful. 